We're the Foxes, a creative duo bringing an inspired perspective to real estate, construction, and design. What happens when clients fall in love with their neighborhood but outgrow their homes? We take on the challenge of transforming their property into the home of their dreams. This is The Upgrade. We're back with another episode of The Upgrade. Episode two. Episode two, and we are back at our house and a ton has happened. That's very true. You know, uh, our hopeful move-in date is about a week away. I don't think we're quite there, we'll but see. we'll take you in, show you the progress. Yeah, but first, the first surprise of this video is our, new puppy. our new puppy. This family is puppy. Ivy. <laughs> Ivy is totally a great member of our family. Our boys are in love. We're pretty obsessed. She's super sweet. Right, and Ivy? she's going to love living here. Yeah. Should we go see your new house? Let's go see your new house. Let's go. Hi. First things first, this huge foyer. Uh, we discovered this framing that we can use for a huge 16 foot ceiling and now we have drywall so you can actually see these amazing ceilings and it's a lot of drywall. And if you remember from episode one, we actually found a house within a house. So there was actually another roof line here <laughs> that we totally took out. So this was a complete and total surprise. This is the 80s framing. We found the 80s framing above the 50s framing. So now we have this amazing, huge space. Uh, it kind of feels like a church, um, but I'm, I'm willing to roll with that because I've never seen a house like this and I'm so excited. This is just so cool. Okay, there's kind of a problem because everything in this house is my favorite. So you're gonna hear me say, let me show you my favorite part a few times. The but first favorite? Let me show you my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> kitchen, uh, this massive wall of refrigeration, which is gonna be super cool, tons of wood. This is actually a birch cabinet. Um, birch is actually a pretty inexpensive wood, but I love, I think it's so beautiful. It has this really pretty uh, like movement to it, but it's fairly flat. It's one of my favorites. And again, not super expensive, which is also great. Okay, but come on, come on. This is my favorite part. Arch, back here, my favorite color in the whole world, Mustard. This one is mustard olive is the paint color. This is my pantry. So this for me is like everything that would normally be out in the kitchen, on the countertops, I can hide back here so that I can give you all the illusion that I'm a very clean, neat, orderly person. When in reality, this can be like all the stuff, you know, all of the, like in my previous pantry, I even kept like, uh, all of the kids' art supplies and like projects they were working on. So just tons of shelving. I'm gonna use this so much. All right, this space took a little bit different shape than we had planned. Originally we had planned in a butler pantry, which is kind of a staging area for food between your kitchen and your dining room, which is great, but it's not really practical for our family. What we ended up doing is putting in some base cabinets here and a full countertop. So we're gonna have a computer and a workspace for the kids to do homework. Heather and I can sit down and work on some things before work, before we go to the office. And honestly, this is just gonna be a much better fit for our family. So we'll have this whole space here, will be all countertop, we'll have drawers. It'll be like a kind of a casual office drop-in thing. So I think we're gonna use this every day. So remember how I said everything's my favorite? I have another favorite now. Uh, this is the owner suite. So this is Brad in my bedroom. Honestly, so excited. Uh, space is beautiful, but really it's the windows, the view, the super cool arch that our bed's gonna be under. Uh, I have a really fun wallpaper, can't wait to show you, going here. Amazing pendants, uh, just like really excited about the overall design in here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we get vaulted ceilings. I know, that's my favorite. The windows, the vaulted ceiling, and the bathroom. Yes. You, sh you should show them the bathroom. Uh, so, owner's bathroom. Super pumped about this one. I went with kind of a natural stone, uh, almost like a bit of terrazzo look, but it's more stone. I wanted it to be super timeless. We don't plan to move. We plan to live here forever, so I don't wanna be redoing my bathroom anytime too soon. So I definitely had some fun with colors, with textures, with patterns and other spaces, but in our owner suite, I wanted to keep it a little bit more calm. Okay, we're in the boys' bedroom wing down here. We're in Wes's bedroom right now. We're doing some trim work today. But what I wanted to show you actually is, I think I hinted at this before, we're doing a secret playroom in the attic of their bedrooms. All right, let's go check out this secret attic play space. The boys are super excited. I'm super excited. 
This is definitely kids only because I don't really fit. Uh, but they're super excited about this. We're gonna have a TV up here, some bean bags, and this is gonna be like kids only, no parents allowed. Welcome to the bar. So this is one of my other favorite spaces, as I say everything is, right? This is gonna be kind of like Parker inspired, which is a really cool hotel in Palm Springs. It's gonna be a little weird, a little funky, all this black and white. The cabinets are a really bright blue. I'm making this space kind of weird. I want it to be fun. I want people to come down here, wanna hang out, have a drink, have a root beer, and um, just feel like it's a little party. All right, I'm standing in the movie area of our house. If you remember from the last video, we had to reframe this whole ceiling and floor system for the main level. Everything went great. We've got our drywall in. We pre-wired for all the speakers. I'm super excited to show you guys in the next video how this all turns out. It's gonna be very different. Also, some floating steel stairs. They don't look like much now, but again, stay tuned for the next episode because these are gonna look way different and super, super cool. All right, we've shown you a lot of progress on this house. Now we're gonna show you something that has no progress whatsoever <laughs> and is in need of a lot of work. When we bought this house, we didn't anticipate having to renovate the entire interior and exterior, including the pool. The pool was covered up and we knew it needed a little bit of work, but uh, it <laughs> ended up it needed a lot of work. And so we're gonna keep the pool, but we pretty much have to redo everything about it. She's, she's not much to look at now, but it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it really was the lot for us. It was all about this beautiful lake view and all of the yard, the house we knew we could work with, but it all ended up being a lot bigger project than we expected. <laughs> for sure. It's but been still fun. worth it. Yeah. It's been fun. I mean, most We got days. our own little like wetland swamp thing going here. And uh, you know what? In a few weeks, this thing is gonna be gorgeous.